Okay, so this is how you're going to make a gun. First things first, you're going to hit in names in your content browser. When it says content, you're going to open up weapon names. I'm going to put it up here. And you want to go to list. If I can spell. Weapons list. Then you're going to go back to your content, clear. And then you're going to type in BP underscore assault. Is here. You're going to right click. You're going to duplicate it. You're going to name it BP underscore whatever you want to name your gun. Mine's going to be M4A1. So open that up. Go back to your content browser. Type in DA underscore assault. Just make sure you click FPS. These three are going to pop up after you click this or make sure you're in that when you search it. Go to the assault rifle, right click, duplicate, name it DA underscore M for A1. Go back to data assets, click the assault rifle settings, duplicate it, DA underscore M for A1 underscore settings. Go back here, go to animations, duplicate, DA underscore M for A1. I'm just going to put Anna. Okay. And then you're going to type in M4A1, and you're going to open these three files that you just created. Open. Okay. So now, go to Names, add an enum, put your weapon name in there, M4A1. Save it. Close it. Go to Weapon List. Go over here to your Weapons. Drop down in the details, hit add, go to M4A1 or whatever you named it, compile, save, close. Open your BP, go down to the weapons data, make that the M4A1 animation, your M4A1 settings or whatever you named it. Okay, open your full blueprint, go to FPP, go down to the skeletal mesh, put your static, your, your skeletal mesh in there. And then your skeleton mesh. After you do that, compile, save. Open up your skeleton blueprint. This is your route where you're going to paste your weapon sockets from your assault rifle sockets. So you'll have to open up your assault rifle blueprint. You'll go down to your blueprint on your assault rifle. To get them the fastest, just click on the mesh over here. In your comp components, open up your skeletal mesh, click muzzle, all the way down to muzzle flash, right click, copy socket. Go to M4A1, click root, paste socket. You'll have to adjust these, otherwise it won't work. So just adjust these to your gun. Okay. Save. Close your assault rifles. Go back to your M4A1. Go to DA underscore M4A1. Go to name. Click your, your weapon. Your logo will go here. I already have one made. If you don't have one, you'll have to make one. Weapon BP. Make sure you select your M4A1 BP that you made. Otherwise, it won't work. Your skeleton mesh will be the M4A1. You're done in there. Save it. Go to the animations or uh, right here. Uh, settings, I mean. Same thing on the weapon name. Go down to your weapon. If it's an AR, leave it there. You put your M4A1 icon or logo in there this is where you change your weapons damage fire rate and all that good stuff okay and the sounds you can change the sounds for shooting and dry fire and all that good stuff right there and then you go back to the animations and the, uh, you're going to go down to the fire weapon these two here you're going to disable both these shots on your weapon animation disable that disable that one disable that one and disable that one Save it, go to your game, launch it. When you launch it, you should be able to see your weapon in there. When you select it, you should be able to load in with your weapon. And then, yeah.
third person. See that right there is what's going to happen because the aim socket is not adjusted. Reload. You have to adjust your aim socket to adjust your aim socket up. So you'll go to your skeleton mesh, you'll go to your aim socket, which will be like right here. You bring that up, it's kind of somewhere you want it. On mine, I have to rotate it. So, um, 90 degrees. Mine is right there. I believe it was 90, it might be minus 90 on mine. And that, you'll find that you'll have to rotate and change some things because your asset might not be the same. So there it is. You can see how it's up too high. So you'll have to go back to your skeleton. And then you have to bring it into uh, Pretty close right there. So there we go. And I'll show you another thing too here. So so now you see how my gun looks so far away? That's because my aim socket's right at the edge of my sock. So you can go back to here and then you'll move it forward. And then you'll hit play. That's how you add a weapon.